Welcome back to Fear Extraction Point. This gun is actually not as accurate as it looks like it would be. In fact, you know what? I just realized... This gun is actually less accurate than the Penetrator, despite the fact that it has a scope. Let me uh, demonstrate that, but hold on, let me check and make sure there's no one left. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so look at this. Look at the crosshair. If I crouch... The crosshair doesn't actually get any smaller. So even if you're zoomed in, and crouched, the accuracy is never going to get any better than that. Whereas the penetrator, if you remember, if you crouch with the penetrator, the crosshairs become completely closed in. To where, at least according to the crosshairs, the gun is literally perfectly accurate. Huh. I wanted to keep this weapon for a while until I got familiar with it, and because it had so much ammo, but now I want the penetrator again. This thing is actually not very good. I mean, the scope is great, but who cares if you can zoom in if you can't even hit what you're aiming at? Yeah, so I gotta keep a lookout for a penetrator. It says, shoot the bad luck. Why would I waste the ammo? Movement! Team, take cover. Advancing! Ooh, goodies. Alright, got some more remotely... Remotely detonatable explosives. I thought for a second they were coming in the door. Particle weapon. Uh, no thanks. I have a full magazine for the rockets. 15. Should be able to take out one of those super big dudes with this. I think it takes... I think if you hit every single shot of a rocket and use an entire clip of it... 15... 15 rockets? No, I won't. What did you say to me? You fucking... You piece of fucking shit. Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. Anyway, like I was saying, if you use 15 shots of the rocket, I believe that's just enough to blow up one of those really, really big dudes. Not the medium big dudes that typically have penetrators, but like the, the exoskeleton suit people. Actually, I don't even know if there's people inside of those suits. For all I know, they're just entirely... For all I know, they're actually entirely mechanical. I don't know what they're actually called, but yeah, the, the mech things. I heard a grenade! Ah! Oh. Shit, I think he's down! Covering!
think that's where I'm supposed to go, so let's go see what's up here. Footsteps, where are they coming from? Oh, God damn it. I meant that I go through the window, not on it. Because explosives can open up doors, so I wanted to open the door. Let's see. Is it gonna work? It did work. Ow. A little bit better than I wanted it to. And now the door closed again. Wonderful. Anyway. Those grenades really blow. And I, I can't even see. If I go out there, I'm just gonna be covered in smoke particles. Do do do. Ba dum ba bum bum bum. Ba bum ba bum bum bum. Wait for the smoke particles to disappear, and we're good. He's, He's here. here. Fettle. Fettle. Stay, Stay away, away from, from me. me. I'm not going to do anything to you, Ms. Guan. But I can't speak for my mother.
Well, that looks like a new enemy type. One that's not going to be very pleasant. There's my act of civil disobedience. Knocking over a trash can. Do those bodies just, like, jump up or something? Oh, beautiful! Look at that! That's my finest work yet. I call this piece... Concrete Head. I didn't expect anybody to be in here. Give me the med kit. There we go. I don't like swimming in games. I'm worried there might be monsters in the water. Maybe there's monsters outside of the water. I think I'd rather go the other way. Alright, let's see if there's any secrets down here. Oh my god, I can't see anything. It's like barely swimming. It's all... I don't know, it instantly turns super dark as soon as I go under. That's really weird the way this works, because look at this. From up above, the water looks like it's incredibly deep, right? At least it does to me. But then as soon as you go in it... It's like, three feet deep.
Alright, following in the tracks of those huge dudes. Oh god, he's on my light. Okay. Is he still alive? Nope. I mean, yes. Ow! Jesus, that hurt. Okay, so it takes three to four bursts of the rocket. Gotcha. That's one of them. There's one more somewhere. And... I'm out of rocket ammo. Grenades? Mines? Sticky grenades? I don't know. Let's go with grenades. Those are the quickest to dispatch. It's probably gonna have to be the shotgun. No penetrators. I'm just going to keep saving because I know he's going to be around a corner. And if these were not close quarters, this probably wouldn't be too hard because I could just do the, like, peek out, you know, take a shotgun shot and then hide behind cover sort of thing, but there's not much room to maneuver or hide here. Wait. I just jumped down to where I've been before. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Or did I just fuck something up? Shit. Let's try the exit for a second. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't think it is. I'm not getting any saves. Nah, this isn't right. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found the proper way to go, but I also found a couple other things along the way. And that's that, this big dude that I just killed actually dropped a minigun. Okay, the gun I left down there is freaking out, but uh, regardless, I have a 350 round minigun, which is pretty freaking awesome. Of course, it's obviously gonna burn through the ammo extremely fast, but still. Sweet. Alright, so I believe the proper way is through here. Mm hmm. I'm trying to jump on top of that machinery, but I can't. Alright, let's take stock of what I have. I've got pretty much... Alright, max grenades, four mines, and three sticky bombs. Okay. And no turrets. Probably save my minigun, actually. But then again, the minigun is replacing my long range weapon. I really shouldn't have done that, actually. I should have replaced my rocket launcher with a minigun. Well, in that case. Hello?
I hear a penetrator. I want that penetrator. Whoa! There must have been explosive barrels right next to me, because that grenade was pretty far away. Ow. She got stunned for like a full two seconds. Oh my god, this thing is beastly. Oh, my lovely penetrator. Let's switch that, and then let's switch the rocket launcher with this. Okay, sweet. Make sure I didn't miss any penetrators up here. Yeah, it looks like I got extra ammo for it, so sweet. Do stuff from here? Looks like I have control of the entire world. Or, well, probably most likely just the transit system. Oh, yes, yeah, that blue, that green light there, that red light there, it all makes sense. Yes. Oh. I actually have to do something. Is there a button to mash? Oh. Of course it fell out from under me. The replicas have pursued you underground, cutting you off at every turn in an attempt to trap you. Jin Sun Quan has not made contact in several hours. Blah blah blah, kill people, save her if you can, but of course she's already dead. The end, okay.
More turrets. Let's go ahead and switch to those. There's a little pathway down there, but I'm not sure if that's where I'm supposed to go, or maybe that's a secret. I think that's... is this where I'm supposed to go? That's where I just came from. Yes, I think I'm supposed to go down here. So wait, is this a secret area, or is that where I'm supposed to go? Is this where I'm supposed to go and this is a secret, or is this a secret and this is where I'm supposed to go? I don't know, down that, down that shaft looks like where I'm supposed to go. Oh, this is just a back entrance. Yeah, I've already been here, right? Yeah, okay. Huh, that's neat. I guess that's so if you wanted to loop around and like pick up some health kits or something, you can do that easily without backtracking. This is a strange level. I obviously can't make that jump. Am I supposed to go in the water? I think I might need to like raise the water level or something. Hmm. I really don't want to go in the water. The fuck? Get me out of there. Doing this in first person is horrible. Oh god. Am I supposed to like put a box in between or something? To like jump on? Oh no. It's just really finicky. Yeah, I think um... When it comes to 3D games, I feel like the jumping out of water physics is like something that has rarely, if ever, gotten really, like, it rarely, if ever, feels good. I don't know if that's just because people don't really care about it that much, or if it's just really, really difficult. But that, that weird kind of, like, coming out of water thing, where you sometimes just do, like, a dolphin dive up and down trying to get onto something is just really finicky in almost every game I've ever played that has such a thing. 
It's probably just really hard to do. Because obviously it's not realistic. Because in reality, if you wanted to get up out of the water onto something, you'd use your hands and, you know, push yourself up. But most games don't really have that, so instead you just kind of, like, get boosted out of the water as if you jumped. Which is weird, because obviously you can't actually jump out of the water in the way that they have you jump, but, yeah. I think it's kind of a replacement for the grapple thing. about popping a turret for a second, but given that they kind of rebel in for the most part, it's easy just to shoot him in the ass with a shotgun. And somebody had a laser carbine. Hmm. Is the laser carbine better than 180 shots of the minigun? For heavy things? I don't know. I don't think I've ever used it. I think I've used a laser, laser carbine against a heavy dude once, and it seemed effective. Oh, it's got so much ammo. Look at that. Yeah, it's got three magazines. Alright, I'm gonna stick with this. Well, that doesn't look good. Ah! Repeating cannon. Eh, uh, nah, I'm gonna stick with this thing. Take a second to blow my nose here. Alright, there we go. Significant possibility of secrets down there, but uh, I don't see anything glowing. So I don't think it's any of those permanent upgrade things. This looks like a battle chamber of some sort. Hey dude, how you doing? Ah, never mind. I thought it didn't have a ladder out. Be one of those waves fight waves of enemies until like an explosion causes a, a an exit to open up.
Oh god! Oh, I went down with him. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Where the hell am I? Should have started my uh, dive kick. Or my crouch kick a little bit before that. It's actually a serious amount of backtracking. I didn't realize it was so much. Okay. some heavy-duty explosives. Okay, can I disarm them? Please, 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 please? No? What's the password? They don't even make a dramatic beeping noise. So I guess they're going to blow behind me and then I go through the hole that they create or something? Fire in the hole! Wait, right now? I don't know if I want to go forwards then. Uh, they're going to detonate, gonna detonate them right now. Every shot from that person hit me. Kept throwing my aim off. Yeah, look at the accuracy of this repeater. It's absolutely perfect. I just went through an entire magazine of that stuff. Okay, I'm definitely saving that for a big dude. Seems like a waste. I need more penetrator ammo. Oh, uh, hi. I, uh, didn't know it was you. Listen, you owe me. 
You wouldn't have gotten out of origin without me. You know that, right? You wait right there. I'll come around and open the door. But you gotta promise me you'll take me with you. You using the grenade launcher? No, wait, I want the plasma rifle. How about the minigun? No? Ooh. Goodbye. Out of all the characters they could have brought back, you brought you just shoved the shittiest character in the entire game into the expansion pack, and there's absolutely no reason he should be there whatsoever. And you just shoved him in. You just had to shove him in, didn't you? It's like, what's the lowest quality thing that was made in the previous game? Let's reuse that for no good reason. I should mention, by the way, that this expansion pack was actually not made by Monolith Productions, the people that made the original Fear. It's actually made by, like... Does it say in the menu? Uh... I don't think so. It's made by, like, Time Gate Studios or Time Warps, something like that. Uh, so yeah, it wasn't actually made by Monolith Productions. So, I can't blame Monolith for that one. Although I can blame Monolith for making that character in the first place. I meant to throw a grenade. Fuck. Huh? I guess there's an explosive barrel in there. <laughs> When's my... Oh my god. I, I blame that fucking dude. I don't even remember his name. I blame that asshole. He did that to me. Okay. Let's try that again. This time I'm just not gonna throw a grenade. Okay, time for the laser thing. Yes, sir. Screw you! Alright, one more magazine. Actually, no, two more magazines. Just gonna get him in the leg? Oh man, I had him and then some little piddly freaking peasant enemy killed me. Where did that other dude come from? Okay. Yeah, this thing's decent against um, really hard enemies. I think the rocket launcher is still ideal. Maybe the launcher cannon thing, uh, I don't remember what it's called. Basically the super uber repeater. And, uh... Yeah, I think it's either that or most likely the rocket launcher that's actually best. Not only because of the damage that it does, but also because of the fact that you can just, like, get out of burst and then hide while you wait for it to kind of, uh, reload. While you wait for it to cycle. Because this thing requires you to stand out the entire time. Because it's a beam. Which is not so good. It's, it's, uh, much better to be able to just, like, pop out, take one shot, just go like, pew! And then hide. 
So I think the rocket launcher is probably ideal because you can just pop out, do that, and then hide again. This makes really cool red stuff. Look at that. Think I can sign my initials with the ammo that I have left? Nice. Looks kind of like a B, but it's supposed to be a D. It's, um, supposed to be a musical symbol. <clears throat> totally not supposed to be a dick. They're prepping me with turrets. Jesus, that was loud. They're prepping me with turrets, which which suggests I'm probably going to need them. How many do I have? Three? Okay, so it looks like three turrets are the max. Alright, well this uh, cannon, or not cannon, the uh, uh, laser carbine is out of ammo, so let's switch to the repeating cannon. And... Before I continue, I think I should end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.